freezing temperatures. Migrants are still lining up outside the St. Bridges Reticketing Center to try and sort out their future housing plans. All right, Fox 5's Jessica Formoso spoke with several migrants about why it's so critical for them to stand in line even in this weather. The line may not wrap around St. Bridges like we've seen in the past, but there are still a number of migrants out here braving the Arctic temperatures, waiting to be placed in a shelter. Jorman Antonio Cordero has been living on the street for nine days now. He showed up again today to reapply for 30 more days inside a shelter, but no luck. From the looks of it, he most likely will spend another night out on the street. The first night I slept out here with boxes, but the snow came and police kicked us out. So now I go down to the subway and hop on a train, but I got caught and kicked out. This is his second time his 30-day temporary shelter authorization has expired. He arrived in New York City in May. What he is wearing is all he has to stay warm. <laughs> I had a thick blanket, but it got soaked with the snow and rain yesterday. So I had to throw it out. This is all I have. We also found Juan Carlos Vasquez Venega, who says his time at the shelter will be up on Saturday. He came to St. Bridges to try to get ahead and have a place once he is evicted, fearing having to sleep outside on the streets of New York City, but claims he was denied and told to come back on a later date. I have to wait for the day after I get kicked out of the shelter to come back here. They want me to be on the street. I can't. The cold will kill me. Telling me he regrets coming to America. City Hall says it put the 30-day limit in place as it tries to find housing for the continued influx of arriving migrants under the state's right to shelter law. I worry for them. I, I think it's a complete failure on our city's government. And these men out here say that they count on the goodness of New Yorkers who come out here daily with hot coffee, hot chocolate, winter clothing in order to keep them somewhat warm during these frigid temperatures. Jen is with Sixth Street Community Center. She's been out here daily trying to help out. We've been collecting donations, bulk goods of warm winter jackets, giving them out, making sure people have just like what they need to face the elements. But for these migrants, no matter how many blankets or coats they are offered, at the end, they just want a roof over their head. In the East Village, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.